Ahoy, my name is John and welcome to Car Genetics. Weird Cars of the Past, Episode 1, Stout's Car Up 1936. Stout's Car Up was styled by John Tiarda and designed by a former aircraft engineer, William Bushnell Stout. Contemporary production cars commonly had a separate chassis and body with a long bonnet. But William Bushnell Stout did it the other way around and practically accidentally created the first ever minivan. The front-mounted engine typically drove the rear axle through a connecting drive shaft running underneath the floor of the vehicle. This layout worked well but limited the passenger space in the back and that wasn't in William's liking. That's why he put the Ford-built V8 engine in the back, rather the front. The vehicle's weight was slightly under 1450 kg. That was because they used aluminium aircraft fuselage for its body. It was a revolutionary design, featuring things such as the removable table and second row seats that turn 180 degrees to face the rear. A feature that Chrysler marketed over 50 years later as Swivel and Go. Because of this, William himself nicknamed the car Office on Wheels. The idea was brought in, and the first drivable prototype of the Scarab was completed in 1932. In 1935, there were made some changes to the car, and the second prototype was built. The second prototype was not built from aluminium because it was much more expensive, so they decided to replace it with steel to reduce cost. Some parts were made out of aluminium, but it was way less than on the first prototype. The production started in 1936 in Michigan, and the price for the Stout Scarab was $5,000, which is something about $85,000 in today's money. And that was pretty expensive if we compare it to the Chrysler Imperial Airflow, which cost just $1,345. Nine scarabs are believed to be built. The vehicle was never mass produced, because they were handmade with no two scarabs identical. Today, we know about five scarabs that survived. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.